Hi everyone, Gruntle here, and this is my guide to legendary and unique weapons in Borderlands the pre-sequel. This episode we're looking at the Hammer Buster 2, which is a legendary assault rifle manufactured by Jacobs. You can get this as a random wheel drop, so there are no bosses with assigned drops for this weapon. Um, so you have to either search around for it or use a save editor as I have done. And basically it's a copy of the Hammer Buster in Borderlands 2. Hence Hammer Buster 2. And that was a reference to Gears of War books and games. So this is also a reference to that. Now it's always going to come in classic damage as all Jacob's weapons are except for the Jacob's pistol in the pre-sequel which will come in shock damage I believe. And it's always going to spawn with this barrel, the Dahl barrel is going to give it increased accuracy and some recoil reduction or recoil recovery I think. I've also got it here with the dial stock and grip and that is to also help with the recoil reduction and accuracy of the weapon and then it's also got the Jacob's sight because I like the Jacob's sight on this weapon. It has um, the prefix boss and that comes from this little attachment here which is going to increase the damage of the weapon or you can also have it, um, other viable ones would be the foregrip attachment which gives a horse prefix um, to help with stability and accuracy again um, because that is the one thing that this weapon is kind of bad for it's a bit, um, it's got a bit of recoil so if you can do anything like with the stock and the grip can do anything to reduce the recoil then it's going to make the weapon even better or even um, the flush prefix which comes from this little attachment here and that's basically increasing the magazine size of the weapon to 22 from 13 so um, definitely another useful thing because the mag size of the Hammer Buster 2 is quite small normally. If we compare it here to the purple version of the Hammer Buster 2. Um, it's got all the same parts on it and the boss prefix again. You can see that the damage of the Hammer Buster 2 is greatly increased from the purple version of the Jacobs. All the other stats are the same um, and as with a Jacobs rifle you're going to get 50% additive crit bonus and 15% multiplica multiplicative Mul multiplicative. Yes, words, word, words. I can word. Multiplicative crit bonus. So that's um, lots of crit bonuses, which means basically hit them in the head or in their crit spot and they're going to die real quick. But yes, it's pretty much just a um, really nice Jacob's assault rifle with even better damage. And that is a good thing. Now I'll show you it firing here. I'm using Nisha at the moment, you would have seen from the other view. And that's because she is great with classic damage weapons and um, Jacob's weapons. So if we shoot this guy in the head, he will set on fire because of the skills that I've got. So you can ignore the fire damage that is not from this weapon, but if I just hit him in the chest, you can see that you're getting 43,000 as it says on the card. Oh no, more than it says on the card. And that'll be because of Nisha's buffs, I'm not sure which ones. And then in the head, 179 crit, which is pretty impressive. Now you can see that the reload um, speed of this weapon isn't great. It does take quite a while to reload the weapon. However, if you're using Nisha, who I think will be the best character for this weapon, um, you get the faster reload in this mode so if I reload here it's quite a lot faster so she's definitely going to be a useful character to be using with this weapon the other characters I think could use this weapon they just won't be quite as potent as Nisha so we'll jump over to some gameplay with Nisha there's nothing else really special to say about this weapon um, oh except that I haven't already said as with all Jacob's weapons, it is a semi-automatic, meaning that you have to click the trig, uh, click the mouse button or the controller button every time you want to fire. Um, so the 
fire rate on the card, which is 14.9 here. Um, that's only if you are shooting it as fast as you can pull the trigger, which you have to do it very, very, very fast. Um, or you can change your key bindings in here to something like fire weapon as scroll down. And if you have a free um, a no lock scroll wheel, like a Logitech mouse kind of thing, then you can do this. And basically just run through your ammo real quick. Or even you could use the, um, the method of the infinite loop glitch um, by using the Jacob's glitch sniper and then switching out into a different weapon. I've got a video on it if you want to have a look at that. I will leave a link somewhere on this page. Um, and then you can get the really high fire rate from that glitch. So yes, we'll jump to that gameplay and I will let you know what I'm thinking of this weapon's usability with Nisha. And here we are in Overlook with Nisha doing the showdown skill to get the critical hits on the enemies. And um, I've also got a lot of points in Tombstone skills, so after killing one enemy, I get 60% of my shots being critical hits, even if they're not hitting the critical spot of the enemy. So I do a hell of a lot of damage with my Nisha build. The only problem is um, I don't have too much health stuff in the build, so I do go down here. However, I am able to pick myself back up again because of the high base damage of the Hammer Buster 2, which is useful. Now, I don't think any other characters will be particularly good with this weapon. I think this is more of a Nisha weapon than anything else. But uh, I may be wrong, so if I am wrong, let me know in the comment section if you've found a character that's amazing with this weapon. But I do think it is a great weapon for Nisha, and I do enjoy using it. If you want to read more about this weapon, you should check out the description below the like button, and I've left a link to the wiki page. And if you'd like to see more of these weapon guides, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.